Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm back with a project for craft angles. This month our challenge theme is floral and today I decided to create a mini layout in my travel notebook. It's called a travel notebook, but I generally use it to document memories and use tinier photos and document a particular day, a particular memory, an event, anything like that. So I just I have a few spreads here that I can show you flip through which just captures the essence of a day or generally even without a photo just the essence of my life as an artist art journal that I really love and like I said documenting a few memories I will be creating a double page spread in this notebook so to let you know the size of a single page, it's 4 inches by 8 inches. That's the size of this notebook. And for my base, I decided to use the Craft Angles Wedding Bells 6x6 paper pack and pick out some neutral backgrounds. So using two patterns from the paper pack, I have just trimmed them to fit my page size. Since I'm using a 6x6 paper pack, I've just cut them accordingly so that I can glue them on my base. So here what I've done is I've just taken 3.75 inches and so two pieces that will go down and I have an idea in mind to use two different patterns so I'm just going to glue those pieces accordingly and I will be using some double sided sticky tape to glue them. So that's a look at the pattern paper adhered on the base. Now keeping in mind the size of my photos which is 2 by 3 inches, I used another sheet from the same paper pack and cut out photo mats and I have just decided to place them at an angle here and I've just made small pencil marks to know where those go. I've also used the craft angles watercolor florals elements paper pack and fussy cut a few elements here uh, that I would be adding as my floral clusters. So before I proceed in gluing down things, I'm going to use the script stamp with some black Ursa Fine Claire and randomly add a little bit of stamping around my photo. I'm also just going to use a little violet distress oxide with the half tone dot stamp just to bring in the color from the background with a little texture. Now using some foam tape, I'm going to glue down my photo mat. I'm just going to distress the edges of the photo mat with the same wilted violet ink. I will also be using the My Valentine chipboard cutout just to add some more elements and here I have this Kaiser Craft sheet of stickers so I'm just going to use some elements to add a little uh, detailing like borders and stuff. So I've just added those elements also with a few phrases that would add meaning to my page so I don't need to add anything else later. And now all I need to do is 
and here are my floral clusters the way I would like them near the photo and I've decided to use these liquid watercolor inks just to add a pop of splatter at the end. Here's a look at the completed spread. I really hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. Do hit the thumbs up and leave your comments below because like I always say, it truly means a lot to me. Until the next time, take care and bye-bye.